Eva Gregory wanted a pet. This is a Rottweiler, best dog in the world. Her parents didn't. You're not responsible enough to care for a dog. But then a monkey named Dodger dropped into her life. He's unpredictable. Whoa. Uncivilized. Ugh, gross. And she's got to keep him undercover. What's up with her? What are you doing? I'm stuck. Dude, I have to get rid of you. He's a party animal. <laughs> who's born to be wild. <laughs> he can't pick up right now. But a man from his past is about to wreck their future. Would you mind if I tuck these up around the park? Because Dodger's best trick. My wallet's gone! Where did you get it? Is Eva's worst nightmare. There was a beast bucket in the ground! You want to drop this stuff too? Oh my god! This is horrible! Now everyone's on this monkey's tail. Ah! Let's go! Kids, people say we monkey around. We're too busy okay, singing. Oh, no yeah, I don't know anything about any monkey. Oh. We're just trying to be friendly. Oh. Come and watch singing. Something to say. It's more fun than humanly possible. Monkey trouble. Are you sure? Yep, that's him. America's favorite stiff is back. That's Barney Lomax. I recognize that smirk anywhere. But hmm. this corpse has a job to do. I found this in Barney's wallet. It's a key to a safety deposit box in St. Thomas. That's the two million bucks that Lomax stole. It's noted as a personal entry account. What does it mean? The Richard? only one who could get in is Bernie Lomax personally, and well, he's kind of dead right now. We go back to the morgue, we get the body, oh. we go to St. Thomas, oh. we take Bernie to the bank. So they're packing him up. I think I'm gonna sit down, thanks. And heading for the islands. Whoa, down, Lynn. Whoa, back out. But they're about to discover. Raise this man from the dead. He will lead you to where he has hidden the money. That Bernie Lomax is more popular than ever. Two guys, they're taking Bernie. Hey, 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 Bitch. Hey, 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 Get out of the way. What'd you do with Bernie? He's in the fridge where we put him. You are in the power of the Mogu. You were supposed to be here guarding Bernie! Why would I have to guard a dead man stuck in a two-foot refrigerator? He's got style. Why is he now? You're so cute! He's got charm. How did you happen to meet old Bert? In the conga line. He's just got no soul. I just saw a dead man walking on the bottom of the ocean. Uh oh But that never stopped Bernie. Go! Bernie? Oh, Parasail? What is that? He's our boss. He's dead. Don't worry about it. Oh. From being the life of the party. See, Arnold, he's not afraid of you. You're the bravest guy I've ever met. Weekend at Bernie's, too. No one does dead like Bernie. Wherever she comes from, she's certainly exquisite. What makes you think she's Turkish? Her um, hat. Caribou. Caribou. She appeared from nowhere. Who is it? Oh, that is uh, a filthy beggar. With nothing but her beauty. She not Greek, she not Turkish. I would know if she was Turkish, and she definitely not Greek. And a remarkable tale. I think that she's saying that her father is a king. She was unable to tell. Gulang? King! Would it be appropriate to kiss her hand? Fancy, Mrs. Waddle. Royalty. These waddles, they know nothing. They are idiots. Some said she was regal. Para mandalang nilile ikirak ingil pedawe. I think she comes from a tribe of woman warriors. She's an imposter. <laughs> Others thought her a rogue. You are a fraud. I know you are a fraud, and I spit in your soup. But from the highly born. My 
Hardly I could imagine the sensation. <laughs> the sensation she would cause. To the highly suspicious, she bite me. <laughs> she bite me so hard. I know. She won the hearts. Quite enchanting. Sweet. Never in my lifetime has such a flame been lit within me. Have you any idea of the danger you're putting yourself in? Oh my God. They've sent troops after us. Of all who encountered her, Phoebe Cates, Kevin Klein, Stephen Ray, John Lithgow, and Jim Broadbent in the true story of Princess Caribou. Sometimes the truth can be stranger than fiction and harder to believe. Hollywood is home to lots of top dogs. Lassie, Benji, Beethoven. Now comes the greatest canine hero of all, Sherlock, Undercover Dog. Go get the telephone. Fetch, fetch. Dad, he can talk. The dog? Law enforcement's top cop is hard at work. They have to be getting the drugs onto the island somehow. What's the cop doing? He's getting in the truck. Hey! Oh! Crack crime fighter Sherlock Bones is up to his paws in trouble. Oh! Sherlock is hot on the tail of some dangerous criminals. You gonna make a phone call? Come on, get dialing. Mom hates it when the dogs run up big phone bills. But he needs a helping hand. They're never gonna let a dog upstairs. Billy is just the kid for the job. Sherlock! Together they stalk their prey. There's someone in there. With canine cunning. Look out, that drug smugglers. Hey! Ah! Dogged determination. Keeps finding us. It's a police dog. That's what he's supposed to do. And a few shaggy shenanigans. Which boat is he on? No idea. All it takes is a true friend. Excuse me. To teach an old dog. Sherlock. I'm driving. Some new tricks. <laughs> and give the local police <laughs> a new leash on life. <laughs> MDP presents <laughs> Sherlock. Undercover Dog. The funniest, friskiest romp of the year. This is fun. Which one's the break? Why are you such a spaz? How come you're so greedy? Magnus Gove's new school. Oh, the new boy wasn't quite to his taste. <laughs> his teacher was a crusty old dinosaur. Why do they call you Raptor? And the other boys. What do you think makes you so special, maggots? Were rotten to the core. You can't do that. Just have. What he needed was a recipe for success. We are a family. You need to earn your place, though. You go cricket? No, I've never played. Well, what do you play? I like to cook. A way to show everyone what he's made of. Out of bounds to all boys. What I'd like right now is a giant ice cream cone. Yeah. With vanilla, strawberry and chocolate on the top. Yeah. And four flakes. And a few friends hungry for some fun. Like a secret feasting club. Quick, party! Now, they're cooking up trouble. What else can you make? Biscuits? Biscuits? What are you doing? Ah! Getting into hot water. Ah! Oh, and putting a little spice oh. into their lives. Leave all your worries and your cares behind. Chair from guest of honor. What on earth? It's the best birthday I've ever had. A Feast at Midnight, a film with all the right ingredients. Probably a livelier bunch than you're used to at home. 